All right, guys, we are back. Listen, today I have none other than my speech coach, Anna Dieter. And we're going to cover today public speaking, overcoming your fear of speaking in general, how to talk as a human individual the right way. Let's get into it. Okay, we are back. Guys, we had some issues earlier with the sound, but now they're all fixed. Shout out to Anna for doing that. Good job. But without further ado, Anna, please tell them who you are. Don't with you. pleasure. Good part of the day, everyone. I was born, raised, educated, and brainwashed in the country called Russia, or the right way to say former Soviet Union. There I was educated and got my degree of a special education teacher and a speech therapist, pathologist. So I have served people of different ages with different types of speech imperfection all together for 30 years as a conventionally trained speech therapist pathologist. But about 12 years ago, I left this job. To be precise, they kicked me out of this job because I was not happy with the way they dealt with children in the school district in California. So the bottom line, I took the red pill. <laughs> I nice. didn't want to work in the system, deceptive system. Yes, Walter. Yes, and I was saying, uh, by the way, she did take the red pill. So kudos to you for doing that, Don DeMarco. Taking the red pill. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> so at the bottom line, 12 years ago when I lost that job because California school district didn't have any money to pay to a very high, highly paid teachers. And I was the one with all the experience with all the classes I have taken my salary was pretty comfortable i had like hundred twenty thousand dollars for a year with all the benefits so i lost basically my <laughs> um, income however i was happy because i didn't want to deal with the system of lies which is the system of education not just in this country but all over the world the system of education, the system of, how do you call it, health care. It's all a whole bunch of lies. <laughs> and then I met my mentor, an independent Russian scientist, who solved the mystery, mystery of so-called stuttering or any speech imperfection. And I've been together with him I've been saving people from this horrible condition. They call it all kinds of names, all kinds of names. Stuttering, stammering, cluttering, shyness, stage fright, whatever. <laughs> it's all the same. It's when a person doesn't use correctly his naturally built perfectly speech instrument. We all have the same speech instrument that we learn to use adequately for accurate and, of course, very comfortable speaking. That's just, and over these years, I've written several books. I even have them, a few of them here because I have more. And one, the most important, I would think, is coming. So that's the bottom line. Together so, we have we have saved from stuttering <clears throat> over ten thousand people over these years. Yes, and guys, uh, just so you can see as well, she has a uh, Instagram page with a lot of her clients here and the testimonials. So you can see offhand, firsthand, of, of course, what's happening here as well. Um, so shout out to Anna for that. So Anna, um, I'm going to ask you this because I think you are the only person that can save mumble rap i can 
do anything in terms of speech. I don't care what you call it. Mumble up or stuttering, it's all the same. Because there is only one thing that God has given to us. It's yes. called the word. But it's not the written word. It's the oral word. We call it a spoken word. And this is the biggest secret that not even one speech therapist is aware of. Not even one. And I didn't know for 30 years when I was a speech therapist. Mm -hmm. So you tell me mumble rap or whatever stuttering, it's all the same. It's when people do not produce accurately and with ease the word not the written word but right. the spoken word it's so, a big difference so guys if you remember at the beginning of the podcast i was a terrible speaker it was so bad every sentence was terrible now though i would say it's more like i am practicing word by word like what i've been taught by anna i've become, I've become way better uh but anna could you kind of break down what stuttering is because uh, Jamie yes. asked a question. He says, isn't it true that stuttering can sometimes be a neurological issue that cannot be curable? No. no, this is a big fat lie of the system. This is a part of the matrix, guys. <laughs> okay. So, but I want to address before I answer this question, I caught one word you mentioned. My sentences are much better. You got to understand people do not speak in sentences. Look at the picture behind me. Do you recognize this guy behind me? The parrot, Do yes. you see it? It's a parrot. How come they speak so well? <laughs> Do they speak in sentences? I mean, Onwards. if you train the parrot, maybe it learns one sentence, like five words, not longer. The bottom line, people don't speak in sentences. What is speech? Speech is one meaningful word. One word, that's what speech is. Mm -hmm. And then you add the next one, the next one, the next one. But it's got to be not written word, but the oral word. Now back to your question. Neurological. This is part of my book, by the way. I do recommend you get this book. It's only 50 bucks from my website. And this book explains how stuttering became a neurological condition. This is part of the matrix. Because let's talk about neurological. They like giving names that confuse people. Okay? So what does it mean neurological? When you constantly feel the pain. When something is wrong with the body, and this something where there is some distress in the body, something is broken, something, there is a damage to the body, okay? Right. When this something touches the nerve and this calls pain. Like a best example, when we have a toothache. Now imagine you have a toothache. Is it sometimes hurts? Oh, when it hurts, it hurts all the time, Walter. All the time. All the time. This is neurological. Okay? Or let's take something that they call so cerebral palsy. This is neurological because the neurons, uh, I mean, something is broken, something is not connected in the brain physiologically. Is it sometimes a person has cerebral palsy or all the time? Hmm. All the time. All the time. Now let's talk about you guys. If you are shy in speaking, if you struggle with speech accuracy, if people do not understand you, if people constantly say, huh, what did you say? Because this is stuttering. It means that it has to be all the time this way when you stumble when you stutter whatever you call it, it should be all the time but is it all the time with you no definitely no. not sometimes you say the word other times you don't right yes correct 
I'll give you the biggest secret on the planet. Please it's tell us. From, Please tell us. <laughs> it's a secret from speech therapists and other medical profession specialists. It happens when you can't say the word correctly. It means you just did what Mother Nature created you to do. You just wore a parrot. <laughs> you just said the word just like a parrot. You heard the word, you imitated it in exactly the same way, and you didn't even think about letters. You didn't even think, didn't even see in your imagination written words, because this is the beginning of any speech imperfection. This is why it starts in school, in kindergarten, what, when kids are introduced letters first time. That's when it all starts. Do you see that? Yeah. So the biggest secret is, in order to, say, to speak well, you need to speak not in written words, not to see letters that all speech therapists give to you when you go to speech therapy. What do they give you? Flashcards, right? You're Flashcards. Right. There is a picture and the word written in letters. Am I right? That is correct. Nice to you. <laughs> this is the beginning of making a young child confused. There is a confusion in the mind of a little child because the child begins to believe that something is wrong with him. Because look, here is the picture, here is the name, I'm reading, but when there is no picture in front of me, there is no, I don't see the words. Now I cannot say the word. Why? Something is wrong with me. Yeah. Because parents don't know letters <laughs> and they speak. There is a big difference between the written word and the spoken word. <laughs> so, so Anna, I think for me, um, when I was growing up, I focused so much on reading the words, like you said, and I didn't understand that like the words have to be heard from, like, I want to say the correct point of view, because for me, it was, all right, I read the word. I'm just going to say it versus let me hear the correct pronunciation of the word. Then I can say the word correctly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, like a parrot, they hear you speak and they repeat it. This so. is normal. This is normal. If people around you spoke in the way you speak today, you were doing this, but you never thought that it could be called stuttering. You never thought about it. Someone had to tell you, right? Yes. And also, when you heard the word up until you were introduced to letters, you were speaking just fine up to four years of age, six, seven, and then they started rubbing these letters in your eyes, pushing these letters to you. And you started believing that in order to speak, you need to read the word. Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> That's where confusion starts. I would say 99% of people who stutter started stuttering because of that. Anna, could you go down the origin of how people should actually speak? Because I didn't understand that most people don't know how to speak at all. They just speak from what they've, I guess, been taught from society. But speaking has way more components than most people think. In reality, people don't, I mean, speaking doesn't have too many components. <laughs> it doesn't. Okay. If it did... I always point to these stupid birds. Why? Parents can speak so well. Maybe one word, maybe five words the most. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they are being trained intensively by, by some special person, yes. They could remember more words, up to 20 words. But the bottom line, we learn to speak just like parents. There is no difference. Young children begin learning to speak just like parents. It all starts when the baby is born. 
I like talking about that. When the baby is born, what is the first thing he does? The first thing he says, all babies on the planet, they all say exactly the same. Ah! <laughs> right? They're crying. And this is totally normal. And then the baby begins looking at the mom's mouth. Here is the tongue, because we all speak with the tongue. Nothing else is, nothing else matters. The tongue. The baby watches the mother's tongue and lips and whatever and begins to imitate. Of course, in the beginning, it doesn't happen right away. The baby doesn't say, hello, mother, I'm glad to see you. No. The baby just go, I go, I go, ba, 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 right? Right. So after this, the baby keeps imitating. It takes us about five, seven years to be able to speak like adults already. We already have learned enough words. But once again, even the baby learns to say one word only not sentences, one word. After the baby says one word, he thinks, hmm, this is not enough. Let me add another word. So the natural way of speaking is adding words, one after another one, after another one, one word at a time. But it has to be not a written word it has to be an oral word do you understand what i mean when i say oral word yes i hope you do walter I... it's the way we say the word with a movement of movements of our tongue huh? yeah That's i think i think for me um you taught me very well just i am lazy so I don't always do the homework. So I think for me, that's the main issue. However, I will say talking to you and learning from you, I've improved so much, so much better. The thing is that understanding of what I am saying is one part. Because look, what we have here, this is a biocomputer. It's no different from the computer or desktop on your, on your desk or the phone we are using. It's exactly the same. So when we learn something, we always, of course, begin with the mind. We need to understand what to do. But if you haven't done with the body what you are supposed to do, you were supposed to do, you will never learn it. Because this is the most difficult. When I teach my students, they're so happy. Yay! They begin speaking so well. They go, thank you, Anna. But then they leave me. They know that they need to build their tongue vocabulary, oral vocabulary, because this is the biggest problem. You can try to do your best to say one word at a time, do this, do that. But if you don't have the words in the memory of your tongue, there is just, just a matter of time when you're going to stumble. You will stumble 100%. So for me, I would use words like that being said, for example, because like you said just now, I don't have a vast vocabulary. So it's kind of no, like, yes. So you're right. After, actually, hold on. I'm going to bring my, my dictionary. But can you tell them how important it is to learn words? even as a regular person without stuttering? Before people, no, repeat the question, what's that? But so, say it one word at a time so I could understand you. So can you tell them why it's important to learn words on your own? It's very important to learn words because if you don't know oral words, not from the written dictionary, I'm talking now, there is amazing, an amazing app. It's called Google Translate. Do you know about that? Google Translate. There are yes. other apps, of course. 
that you can simply enter the word, listen to it and repeat, just like a parrot. You've got to repeat it several times to get your tongue adjusted to repeating just like you hear this word. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So, yes, it's important. What do people that come to the United States do? They come from all over the world. And the first Viene thing they begin, Sorry, the very first thing they begin doing, what is it? They begin learning English language. And how do they do it? They begin memorizing words. Because without words, you are going to struggle. You're going to be speaking with your hands. You're going to be stop and I mean, stuttering, stumbling, stumbling, the better word, right? Yeah. Because when you don't know the word, to be precise, when your tongue doesn't know the word, you will never be able to speak. Never. Yes, this is what you got to have. However, This is not enough because once again, when you look at the dictionary, what do you deal with? Words only, not oral. Letters, letters. Those are written letters. Yes. And this is fine if you want to write in English language. I'm talking about English, but it, it's the same for any language. Okay? So if you want to learn words for speaking, You must train your tongue to say oral words and to do it in exactly the same way how the Google lady does it. Yes, like the lady here. Yeah. Listen to the lady repeat, not faster, not slower, in the standard way. Why? Standard way. Because normal people speak in this way everywhere all the time <laughs> they don't run like the way people who start are like to do there is no competition when we speak you so, know what yeah okay you know me when you ask me i can go forever <laughs> yes so anna uh someone says in a chat people stutter because their brains are slow This is a big fat lie. Who owns your brain? Brain is just a part of the body, part of your body. Why do you ex accept such a lie? Like someone tells you that you're a moron, that your brain is broken, you are just genetic freak, and you believe it. Why? When will it stop that we accept when Confused, ignorant, so-called professional specialists tell you the lie and you accept it. No. You know what? Go to my TikTok. I'm everywhere. Go okay. to my TikTok. Why I'm saying about TikTok? Because this short video is pinned. You can go and you can see this video about a little child born without the brain. Noah from Great Britain. If you go and check it, my TikTok, the boy born without the brain, he had too much liquid in his brain when he was born and the doctors didn't think the boy would survive at all. They actually suggested that the parents get rid of the pregnancy. However, the parents were religious. They decided to give a chance to their child. So the boy was born, born with only 2% of the brain. Two, it was just a sack with water with a layer of brain cells. And guess what? The parents treated him as if he was normal. And by six years old, the boy grew his brain up to 80% of the brain cells. This boy went on the British show, Good Morning Great Britain or something. I forgot what it's yeah. called. Okay. Is it my TikTok? I believe so. Oh, where is the video? It should be pinned, but it doesn't look like you have the pinned messages. 
up there. Anyway, so I have so many videos. You can find it. If you scroll down, you'll find that video. The boy born oh, uh, somewhere. No, even scroll down, scroll down. Yeah, I thought it was pinned. But anyway, this boy started speaking just before COVID. He gave an interview <laughs> on TV, answered questions. Mm. And you are telling me that your brain is slow? This is insane. I want to address something else. I mean, about, I want to say a couple of words about slow. Because they say, they do the skin of the brain. And they say that the brain of a person for starters just works slower because there is lower blood circulation in so-called speech zones, which is, again, complete lie. <laughs> These zones don't exist. It's a lie, again, because our brain, when one part of the brain is getting destroyed let's say after the stroke after some trauma the brain is such an amazing thing that it begins developing other parts of the brain making them responsible for this or that function of the body so even after stroke people learn to speak i have personally educated one person he was my, I mean, he is my relative, and I worked with him after four years since he had a stroke. He was a young guy, 50 years old only, but he had a stroke. He worked with speech therapists, but he still didn't talk after four years of speech therapy. Then I traveled to Moscow, and I said, okay, let's sit down. Let me explain how things work. And all of a sudden, he started speaking. Why? At first, very slowly, because he did have neurological condition. The parts of his brain were kind of deleted. The information basically was deleted. you got to understand, this is a computer. Our brain is just a hard drive where all the memory gets stored. So what will happen if, let's say, you shake your computer <laughs> some files may break right some neurons may break you gotta understand that this is a computer but after you put it in a steel position you figure it out how your computer will kind of calm down and you continue using it continue using it okay so there is nothing slow about your brain. It's 100% normal, but you've got to use it correctly to fill your brain, again, the storage room for information. Fill right. it with correct information, not with lies from speech therapists and, and doctors. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, from your experience, would you say that most speech therapists give you like a, a placebo to make you come back no. no it's not a placebo okay it's very very harmful advice all mm -hmm. speech therapists you gotta again understand they're part of the system the matrix coming back to the matrix see what they do you're born normal and then something happens in your life and you begin making mistake as a child. It happens because we learn to speak. And as we are making first steps, it's natural to make mistakes. And then a kind teacher, a kind observant teacher, a neighbor, or even your mom or dad or someone who really truly wants you to be good in your life, to do well in your life someone kind tells you or not you of course your parents you know what your child may have stuttering you better go take your child to a speech therapist to see mm -hmm. what's wrong with your child to make sure they say <laughs> they say the earlier the better 
the right. earlier you catch the problem, the better chance to fix it. That's where it starts. And the mother or the father, concerned parents, take this little baby to a speech therapist. And the whole process begins. Once again, what do they do? They give you to produce, they ask a baby to produce a written word, which is completely different from the oral word. It never works for speech. Never works. Remember how difficult it was for you to read, learn to read accurately. Yes. They taught us in school. I mean, in Russia, it was 10 years. You were still learning how to read well. And people needed to train because it's difficult. It's difficult. See, I made a mistake. And I made a mistake for a simple reason. I wasn't sure which word I wanted to say. Didn't yeah. take time for selection, right? <laughs> I think for me, um, you made a good point. Uh, finding the words is sometimes a big issue for me. But I do want to play something. the video you sent me. Uh, with one of your students, how they overcame um, literally what was happening with stuttering. Mind if I play the video? Of course. Cool. Play the one, the last one I uploaded where the guy says he's learning now 300 words. This one. Here we uh, go. Wait a second. No, no, no. This one. Oh. Bryce? Yeah, his name is Bryce, but this no, okay, play this one. So this is Bryce. He's uh, 23 years old. Uh, let's play it. Um, yeah. This is Bryce. He stuttered for 23 years of his life. I, I, I have, um, uh, I uh, work uh, uh, over the phone. When he enrolled in the three-day Edelon speech unblocking class, he spoke like this. Oh, even if... Uh, uh, it is an A, and then on the next a letter, it's a T. Uh, the next, mm, uh, oh, and it come out. And what is it we're speaking with? Tongue. He studied very diligently, but became angry with himself because he continued to make annoying speech mistakes from time to time. And after we ended the class on the second day, Bryce decided to take very seriously his homework. After our call yesterday, I was really aggravated with myself. I was so aggravated that all I did all night was practice and practice and practice. Like all day, I didn't stop. I didn't stop all night. I don't know how long I went and I didn't stop. After an hour, I didn't have a mess up. I didn't stop after an hour and a half after I had a mess up. I went a whole three and a half hours without any mess up until I stopped. Not one mistake in three and a half hours. Not one. I just had to take my red pill. I had all the tools. I took my homework. Hold on. Don DeMarco. <laughs> He took the red pill, and now he's cured. <laughs> Thanks to Anna. Here we go. Very seriously, because I want to be the best form of myself that I can be. And so I was up probably later than you would like, <laughs> but I was up until I fell asleep on a complete accident with my laptop in my lap. I don't know how many hours of sleep I got, but all I know is I took that red pill last night. I will never stop. I'll put in the work endless hours until I can't talk. But that, okay, so that was a huge transformation from, I, I mean, literally from this. This is Bryce. I, I have, um, uh, I, uh, work uh, uh, for the laptop this. in my lap. I don't know how many hours of sleep I got, but all I know. That is, I want to say, life-changing. This is what happens every time, my dear. 
every single time. But the difference between some of my students and this student, I'll tell you what the biggest difference. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter that he was much more severe stutter. I don't even like the word stutter. So underdevelopment of his speech was much more severe than, let's say, yours. Yeah. Okay, Walter. But he is an athlete. He told me, I mean, he's told me so many interesting things that I've decided I'm going to make small videos on topics, different topics. He said, I'm an athlete. And until I'm going to be the best of what I can be, I will never stop. He is the last thing you can call him lazy. It's the opposite way. I said, hey, you need to get some rest. Go sleep. <laughs> okay? Don't. I told him, you got to learn 100 words. He, the last message he sent to me, he said, I am going to, oh, wait, okay, yesterday I learned 300 words. Yeah. And without the words, you cannot speak. You can't. It's impossible. This is why speech therapy never works. Never. Because they keep giving you, as I explained to you earlier, what is it? I don't know if in your show I'm allowed to say hey. kind of marginal words. Hey, hey we, we good over okay. here on this channel. Just say what you okay. got to say. Then I'll call it this way. Just imagine you are at the restaurant, okay? And they served you the meal, and you see something brown, <laughs> smelling <laughs> in a funny way. It's yeah. brown. It smells like poop. It looks <laughs> like poop. Probably it is a piece of poop. <laughs> okay? So, but they say it's a delicacy. You got to try it. It's delicious. You look like them. <laughs> you may <laughs> lick it, but... If you lick it, what will your tongue do? Instantly reject it. <laughs> right? The vomiting movement would happen right away. Because your tongue knows this is poop. <laughs> I shouldn't be putting this thing in my mouth, right? So, but people around, they want you to eat this meal. And they say, here are the sauces. Here is the, some sugar. This is skimmed milk. This is jam. It's so sweet. It's delicious. Just put it around this poop and eat it. So they put sauce. They, you put this poop still in your mouth. You don't taste it. Yeah, the sauce tastes good. But the moment you bite this thing and your tongue touches the poop, what happens? Rejected. Again, the same tongue rejection. So what I'm talking about, this is what you constantly get in the office of speech therapists, all speech therapists, no exception, because they all are trained to give you written words. They all use these flashcards. They all, whenever you come to the speech therapist's office, what do they do? They give you something to read. Always. Just dealing with letters. This is why some of my students that come to me, they are not bad readers. Their reading is okay. But they cannot speak because reading word doesn't work for speech again. And... All these techniques that you are using, they all are, you know what? Sources. <laughs> all the different sources. But what's inside of the speech therapy technique? It's crap. Crap. Okay. Written words. So, Anna, uh, Jesus Christ, which I don't approve of, he says, uh, where can we get her coaching services? Where can we get what? Her coaching services. I didn't coaching. understand. Oh, coaching. Okay. My coaching services are always online. Always. It's been set up online. I was teaching on Skype and believe it or not, I'm still teaching on Skype. Although a lot of people turn to Zoom. 
So yes, I teach people on Skype. And if you go to livestarfree.com, L-I-V-E-S-T-U-T-T-E-R, F-R-E-E, I'm, I have to think how to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, livestarterfree.com. And if you enter the website, okay, Walter, can you show it? Yes, I definitely can. Um, so I went through the... Why uh, can't I hear you? What happened? Uh, you, you can't hear me? Uh, oh, you... I don't think she can hear me, guys. But yeah, guys, uh, so it's right here. You can see your website here. Just a bunch of testimonials from people. Um, okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, but it's very, very, you know what? Oh, I don't know why it just became. Maybe silent. you got a phone call or text. But yeah, guys, this is her website here. Um, yeah, I did the uh, three day uh, sessions. It was great. Learned so much. I just need to do my homework and I'll be fine. But this is a website here. Um, I want to tell you what you haven't done. You haven't built your tongue vocabulary. And also, you need to understand every time we say, ah, this is a oh, natural indication actually, when we say, that? I have no idea what I want to say. Can you tell them about I the, don't uh, know. the um, That's why people say, ah. So if you just begin okay. speaking in words, not in something that we don't need, ah, <laughs> then everything will become normal, back normal with you. So just so I understand. What's going on again, Slo? Can you hear me? Okay. Just so I, I understand, the words, um, uh, is that normal? What's going on? Why? Okay. For some reason, I push yeah. it, but it goes back to not on speakerphone. What do I do? Oh, there should be a, a microphone icon. Okay, I'm um, going to turn it on. Can you hear me now? I hear you, but it's very, very, the, the second. Yeah. Okay, should I hold it? <laughs> Repeat your question. So, the question was, if I'm using the words, um, uh, is that normal to do as a speaker? No. Normal speaker, speakers don't do this. Only inexperienced speakers use arms because they don't realize. When we say um, they don't give any information to listeners. Yeah. There it doesn't make sense to say arms. How many arms can you hear from me? None. Why? Why would I do that? I know I got to speak in words. Word. I'm busy coming up with the next word. I don't have time to waste to say something like ah, am, um, shmam, or repeat the word. Why? I know what I need to do. I teach this. And when a student does the homework like Bryce did, it's usually it's even less than three days. And I want to mention, Walter, just recall the time of your class. You were always busy doing something else. I was lucky if you gave me two or three hours of your time. <laughs> Remember? That is true. You did not actually complete the class because I was always, I was the one chasing you. But Bryce stayed with me. First day, it was seven hours. Second day, it was 10 hours because mm -hmm. he couldn't get it. 10 hours and the last day of course it was just a couple of hours that's it he's got it you gotta understand it but the problem is in order to understand you need to do it with the muscles of your body you are teaching not the brain not the mind you're teaching your tongue you mm -hmm. are working with the body and this is possible only when you're doing it. And when I say you got to learn 100 words a day, I'm not kidding. I'm saying what you need to do. 
You are and in order, in order to learn 100 words, it takes only an hour, an hour and a half. It's not that much. <laughs> yes. You know what to do. I hear what you're saying. Um, okay. Before we, did, um. <laughs> before we close out here, just to make sure, is there anything you want to, to say? Uh, any last words to the audience? Uh, maybe where they can find you? Where, um, yes, you no, know, actually, we're gonna do a call with my members of the CEO network after this, actually, um, on a Zoom call. So, guys, if you're in the network, uh, tap in in like 20 minutes, we'll do a call with uh, Anna. You can ask questions directly, live QA, and um, yeah, it should be pretty fun. But before we, we do that, Anna, where can they find you and what's coming up next for you? So I recommend you go literally to livestarterfree.com, www.livestarterfree.com, and sign up for the webinar. Sign up, watch it. It's a free 40-minute webinar. If you understand what I'm talking about in that webinar, right away, schedule a free consultation with me. Free. You don't even have to pay anything. Just the only thing I want you to do when you schedule the call, please be considerate of my time. Because I cannot tell you how many times I would come, I would sit, I would wait, I would run from the beach, <laughs> okay, to be on the call. And a person just doesn't show up. So this is, I'm used to this, but this is not polite and not considerate of your time and of my time so if you want to reschedule there is an option you can always reschedule a call just remember if you schedule come if you want to reschedule reschedule but let me know especially if you live in the united states of america you can even call me you can text me it's really easy to reschedule but if you are watching this show from anywhere else from any country it doesn't matter. I have worked with people from India, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, like any country with Europe, doesn't matter. As long as you understand English instructions, it works for any language. Guess what? Eh, we all have the same tool. <laughs> and we speak in exactly the same way, no matter what language it is. The bottom line, livestarterfree.com, schedule a call, come to me, let me look at you, let me tell you how you can live starter free in as little as only three days, sometimes even less. All right, that was beautiful. Can you go for a second? Can yeah. you go to testimonial place? Testimonials. And scroll down to see how many testimonials I have. Yeah, written testimonials, I don't even look at them. Go to videos. I have close to 500 videos. Of course, they're not all on the website. I recommend you go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. But if you look at these videos on my website, you see some people have worked with me one day and they were able to get it. Some people worked with me for three days. They were able to get it. Three days is the time when the neurons are formed in our brain. Their science is called neurogenesis. Just Google it, neurogenesis. It takes three days to build any, to learn, not to build, but to learn any skill, including speaking. All right, guys. There you have it. This was a great call. I think, uh, sorry, great video. I think Anna was telling you guys to have an open mind, don't follow the system, and believe in yourself because all we have is the word. And it's up to you to decide how you handle that word. All right. The word, nothing else. That's it. See you soon. Hopefully to see you guys. We're out of here. Peace. Peace. <laughs> peace out. That's what you're saying. In America, peace out. Okay. Peace out. Yeah.